Hello, good morning. If it's morning where you are, and if it's not, then whatever time of day it is. I've got a request here from a subscriber, or I believe he's a subscriber anyway. Having problems, can't get data from the site, could you help me? Sure. So, opened up spider.py and everything looked okay. I ran the code and I had response 200, all looking good. But when we looked at what the output was in Scrapey, uh, image, first and last name, position, reviews, gender, facilities were all returning none. So, first thing I did was look at the response. We were getting a response, which was good. So, in, inside response.text, there was more than just the HTML. So, JavaScript. A quick look through there, and it was evident that I was going to need to attempt to extract data from the JSON object within the JavaScript. So, this is what I did. As you can see, the gender, phone number, website address, image, and so on. If we inspect element, it's all there. But you can see that it's being loaded by JavaScript. And if you look here, script type equals text forward slash javascript so let me um, just zoom in slightly for you here here we go you'll see Inside this div, we have context, schema.org, at type, name, telephone, image. So already we're in business because we've got the image here. And that will be the image we want. You can test that by if you copy that out, put it, paste it into the address bar, and there we go. There is the picture of the doctor that we want. So, aggregate rating, we have a dictionary inside a dictionary here, so we will have to pick out the key, and then from using it the key we will then have to pick out the value from that or the value from the value sorry so let's um, let's look at how to handle that within the code so as you can see I've already got it working so uh, that's my scrapey project that I created using start sorry scrapey start project rate MDS and the only thing I modified was in settings and I changed robots obey and I modified the user agent um, back to the code close that and you can see what I've done is I've done a bit of a workaround for the gender uh, ignore that for the time being that's not the main focus of this video what we're interested in is extracting 
JSON, the text, the JSON, the text from the JSON object, which is in the script. So script equals response dot x path forward slash forward slash script so that's our tag and then in here inside our predicate we have at type and application forward slash ld plus json json data equals json dot loads script and I've left that print statement in so that when I was testing it I could see the the variables that I was after and yeah image name telephone reviews and gender gender wasn't in the response um, but what I found I could do was by trial and error I found using scrapey shell um, yeah, look at that. I could get that when I was when I was um, searching for female, so it was returning nothing. And um, when I returned male, I was getting something. So this was obviously for the first result because I was using get. But what that proved was, depending on the gender. If I looked for female and I got a response, then the gender was female. If there wasn't a response, a definition, it's male. Um, well, he is male. The doctor is male. It's the gender of the doctor. Um, so this video is partially for tutorial and partially as a response from my kind subscriber. So. The other thing I've done to modify the original code is I've just put in custom settings so that the output goes to CSV file. I've tidied up where the, um, I've just put, I've put, actually start URLs, same, I believe. Um, headers, I've just used headers here because it's neater just to put headers once and then you can use self.headers, self.headers, um, so yeah, you can just then use that in your yield rather than having to put all that in each time, so yeah, that's just tidied that up. Um, something I always do is I try and remove my previous results file and if there's an error so if it doesn't exist then there's nothing to remove so you get an error and then you just pass it um, I don't actually need time in there anymore don't need this so let's just tidy that up um, yeah I've left the next page code in for you so um, just uncomment that if you're happy once you've tested uh, the only thing I haven't had work in is facilities. I'm not sure what that is, and <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm I'm not going to spend hours more time um, trying to identify what that is. That was good, so that's what I always use as well, and yeah, that print can get commented out now as well and yeah so just uncomment that and you're good to go really you'll be fully working other than as I say the facilities I'm not quite sure what that what the facilities means or is um, yeah so within that JSON response the image and name telephone were all fairly easy to get the only tricky one was um, reviews and when you get that response you will need to pick out um digi goliath subscribes to your channel welcome digi goliath <laughs> you've just subscribed and already you're featuring in a video 
Right, um, that's probably enough. Let me just run this. I'm just going to run it in Atom and I'll let you just see it running. And um, yeah, hopefully the, uh, the code in GitHub will be a big help to you. And I've not confused you. Um, add a comment or subscribe or both. And um, yeah, if this has been of use, um, I wish you all the best. There we go. You can see. Uh, let me just. Um, this is the scrapey output in Atom. So it w in Atom it allows you to view the output in a text file. Um, uh, yeah, of course I've removed the print. So let's just go and um, close that. results.csv 735 yeah that was one minute ago and there you see it open it in LibreOffice but Excel would be the same we've got the image URL ah I'm pending so that was what I did uh, earlier so what I've just done now is the same and obviously it's still working because it's it's not been changed so there you go the ratings the, or the reviews rather now the yeah they are different 4.8 4.9 4 4.8 genders different good telephone numbers doctor's name and the doctor's thumbnail image so yeah I have as I say the only thing I've not done is um, extracted the facilities um, I'll leave that. <laughs> I've got other things to be going on with. So, um, yeah, no, this is this is a summary of how to extract data from application. When you see this, when you see application forward slash ld plus json in your HTML code, you don't have an HTML response to use your normal CSS and XPath selectors with, so you will need to pass this back as a script and then load the script as a, as a JSON object, and then you can extract your bits and pieces from that. So I hope this has been interesting, useful, and um, yeah, I'll be back soon. So thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, yeah, what well, that thing that everybody always tells you to do. But...